A breathtaking selection of notable artworks will be going under the hammer at Leon Gallery's spectacular mid-year auction. This sale has uh, very significant pieces. We have the most important Ankyu cock that has ever been sold. We have the Hoya from the 1964 Venice Biennale, which is uh, one of only nine works extant. And, but uh, the five others are in important institutions like the National Museum, the, uh, the Ateneo Art Gallery. Um, we have the most major Fabian de la Rosa that has ever been offered at auction. And um, we have a very important Manansala that is probably one of the most uh, major works the artist ever created. So this sale is very special in that sense because we are talking about pieces that elevate one's collection. Whoever will have the Ankyukok, who will ever have the Hoya, who will ever have the Manansala, will elevate his or her collection to a caliber that will be among the finest in town. Furthermore, um, in this auction, we are, our Amorsolos are all from the pre-war period, which is the golden period of Amorsolo. So we have one from 1917, one from 1931, one from 1938, and another one from 1937. So they are the best Amorsolos one can have for one's collection. One of the items up for auction this year is Jose Hoya's carcass, which was one of the nine pieces the artist exhibited at the Philippine Pavilion at the 32nd Venice Biennale. Of course, the jewel in the crown as far as Venice Biennale pieces go is the Jose Hoya, because Jose Hoya showed nine pieces at the Venice Biennale at the Philippine Pavilion of 1964. Uh, Two of those pieces are in institutions, the National Museum and the Ateneo Art Gallery. Three are in private collections. Three are whereabouts unknown, and this is the ninth. Well, it's called Carcass, so it has all of the fury and rage, blood red colors of, um, I guess, of uh, some kind of confrontation, a quarrel, anything that will, or the aftermath of a confrontation, which is a carcass. At the time of the Venice Biennale, this was the same Biennale where Robert Rosenberg won the Golden Lion. But it was also the first time that the Philippines was ever featured in the Venice Biennale. So of course, all eyes were on the Philippine booth, on the Philippine pavilion, all eyes were on you know, this new entry from, the, uh, from Asia. Our eyes were also drawn to these front doors that were created by Carlos Botong Francisco for Alejandro Roses, which features various Philippine fiestas on one side, and on the other, carvings of different creatures from Philippine folklore, like the Manananggal and the Swang. Also on the roster is Anquiyokok's Fisherman. This piece measuring 40 by 80 inches is one of the largest pieces to be put up for auction in recent years and depicts fishermen casting their nets with seven gigantic fish symbolizing the bounty of life. Anki Kok grew up in Davao, so it's a scene of fishermen pulling in their catch. It's a talks about the bounty of life, you know, of success of life reaping your just rewards. This is from the peak of uh, Ankyu Kok's powers. Uh, he said the, the peak of his powers, the coloration, the composition, and the painting also has a cipher. You can see the letters A and G written uh, with the fisherman's bodies. Other classic pieces that are culturally significant are Fabian de la Rosa's hat weavers and Vicente Manansala's Pila Sabigas. Two of them would be the Fabian de la Rosa. Um, also what defines something important is also its rarity. So um, this is a very major Fabian de la Rosa, which is, um, there have been very few that have come to the market of this size. And of course, the Manansala, although there are many variations of this, uh, of this particular theme, which is queuing for rice, you know, at the time when the Philippines well, you know, when rice was being rationed. Uh, this is also still a very, very rare example 
of Manansala's Cubist social commentary. And everybody's afraid of running, a, you know, panic buying, <laughs> running out of rice when there's a Lindol or a Marawi-like incident. It really cuts to the what what is important for Filipinos, and for Filipinos, it's really all about bigas. See these pieces up close at Leon Gallery's ongoing preview, which will run until the 9th of June. And even if you aren't planning on acquiring these items, the opportunity to be surrounded by stunning artworks are few and far between, and that alone should be worth the visit.